I'm Steve Prusak. We couldn't be more excited about our next guest, and it's our very own and dear Babette Davis. Chef Babette Davis, affectionately referred to as Chef B, is the co-founder right. and executive chef at Stuff I Eat, a vegan restaurant in Inglewood, California. Uh, she recently made the top 20 list of badass vegan women making history and recently appeared on the new HBO series, Insecure. She's recently finished her first book, a five-part series entitled Crave Series, Healthy Desserts for the Foodie. She's contributed to our book, Juice Guru. She's got her gourmet recipes in there. And she's also the co-founder of the Love Your Age Project, which promotes successful aging through diet, exercise, and positive thought. Let's welcome to the Vitality World Summit, Miss B. Thank you so much for having me, Steve. Hello, everybody. Do we call you Miss B or Babette? Come on, you my you my you my son. Call me what you want to call me. Just don't call me late for supper. <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> How are you, Steve? So Babette, yeah, I can't think of a better summit for you when we're talking about vitality and longevity. And I mean, you seem to have dialed in on this, wouldn't you say? Oh man, life is good. Yeah. I'm 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 very 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 blessed. I'm so I'm so happy that I made the changes that I made all those years ago because it's really 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 paying off. Right? It's what, really paying would off. Would you what would you say are you aging in reverse or what's going on over there? Well, well, you know, we we have to admit that if you live on this planet, there will be some aging. And aging is good. Aging is actually good because it takes you from, you, you start when you're a baby, it's the beautiful journey, the beautiful process, life process. That experience is what is so wonderful. What you don't want is to be ill, okay? Um, and beauty and all that kind of stuff, that's in the eye of the beholder. I just, I need to be able to move. If I fall down, I need to be able to get up. If I want to walk a flight of stairs, I shouldn't pass out by the time I get to the fifth step. And so it's just being able to continue living. It doesn't matter about, yeah, the body is good and that's great and I'm loving that. I'm so excited about that. But really more than anything, it is the quality of my life that I really give thanks for. Should we share your age? Surely, you better share my age. That's important. So it's 66 years old, right? That's Steve? right. 66. Amazing. Yes. So can you discuss with our viewers what love your age means to you? Loving your age to me means that at any age, at, it doesn't matter where you are, you should be good with that age. And it, 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 there, there's been this misconception that by the, time, by the time you're 40 or 50 years old, just go sit down, put your little soft shoes on, a little smock, and just, you know, go in the corner and be quiet. No, I don't care what age you are. You should be in, at the top of your game in the very best health and, and being able to enjoy this human experience. And that is what it means to me. I don't care what age you are. I, I want to be um, able to climb a hill at 80 years old. I, you understand? So it, it, just, it just really doesn't matter. You shouldn't, put, you shouldn't worry so much about the number. You should only be concerned with the way that you feel. And that's what it means to me. Well, let's talk about your journey because, you know, you were continuing along the standard American diet and all that kind of thing and everything changed for you. And how did. much did you attribute to diet? And maybe you can share some of those changes you made. Well, you know, at, at age 40, uh, well, let's, let's start way back. When I was a kid, I was a very, very, very sick most of the time. Um, I suffered with um, asthma. I had eczema, so I was scaly. I looked like a little lizard. I um, just um, constant ear infections and sore throat. So I was out of school a lot. Um, a very, very humble beginnings. I had some real rough spots in my life 
as I was coming up and um, being fed by people that did not have a clue. There was a time I thought I was allergic to nuts. That's what doctors told me. I was allergic to nuts, but uh, now I eat them, tons of them every single day and I don't have an issue at all. So basically at age 40, this whole thing shifted and changed for me. I met my husband, Ron, and Ron is a sharer. He loves to talk and teach. And at that particular time, he was handsome and I was listening. And thank goodness I was. Um, gave me some information. I was uh, sharp enough to read the books that he shared with me. And I'll go ahead and name those. Uh, Fit for Life by Harvey and Marilyn Diamond. Those were, uh, the, I, I read both of those books. They've got volumes one and two. And then um, Dr. Uh, uh, Professor Arnold Errett and the mucusless cleanse, uh, healing uh, diet, I think it is. That was an incredible book to me because then I realized that mucus and inflammation is what creates disease. And um, I just, I just, it's so important for us to learn what it is we do. If you're going, if you're going to transition, if you're going to change your lifestyle have a solid reason for doing it and understand why you're doing it. And by him sharing that type of information with me, it, it started my journey off pretty good. It, it changed, uh, it, 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 let's see, probably within the last, I'd say five or six years, ethically, I no longer wanted to murder another sentient being to nourish myself. So now I'm just all on board, okay? So I'm just real vegan now. So I, I know that I've taken care of myself. I wanna take care of my planet and I wanna take care of every other sentient being on this planet and allow them to live as I am allowed to live. And I, it's, it's important for all of us because we're only a tiny part of the whole and this little planet that we exist on is just a dot in the grand scheme of things. And we need to be kinder and gentler to ourselves and to every occupant on this planet. I don't know if I answered your question. I go off on a tangent sometimes, Steve, no, and I, I, did I answer the question? Yeah, I th yeah, and you expanded upon it. That's I did, what, huh? I did. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. <laughs> so, what does your diet consist of today? You, the name of the restaurant is Stuff I Eat. So, what yes. is the stuff you eat? Okay, so every day, you know, Steve, I'm still taking my 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 powder. I'm st I still have I still have a jar. So every day um, when I start my day. I, I have a juice. I'm addicted. I have to have it. Um, and, to, it and my go-to drink, I always tell Steve this, I love the drink cilantro, green apples. Now I'm adding pineapple. I'm a sugar freak. Um, uh, uh, ginger and uh, cucumber and zucchini. I'm just pounding that every single morning. And on top of that, I just sprinkle some of our old powder in there. And I'm just, yeah, I'm just loving loving it so you're you're so you're doing the uh the juice the juice every morning and uh generally i'm a fruit person till noon so i'm nibbling on bananas and whatever i'm making parfaits whatever whatever my desserts are i'm nibbling on that fruit while i'm working um i'll usually there is this new soup that we're doing at stuff i eat i don't know if you've tried it steve but it's the um, curry lentil soup. Oh my no, goodness. It's really, really good. So I'll generally do that for a quick snack in midday with a salad. And um, sometimes I'm hungry for dinner, but I try to keep myself up. I'll do nuts and seeds and nibble a lot. I'm not a real big eater. And then maybe have a, a, a drink at the end of the day to top it off. And I'm good. I don't require a lot of substance. Uh, I just make it what I eat counts, if that makes sense to you. Yeah. And because, yeah. and you're getting a lot, you're very active. I mean, you're, yes. scheduled, you're, you're up what time and you're at, Generally, I'm up at three and um, I make it to the restaurant uh, between 
four, four thirty, five, you know, whenever I get there, those hours. Uh, if I'm able to work out, then I'm at the gym between four and four thirty, and for an hour, just an hour. Uh, I don't do weights. I do uh, more, um, you know, my own strength. So um, core strength, I work on that. But, um, and then I'm at the restaurant. Now, there have been times when I've been in the restaurant on my feet from, say, four or five o'clock in the morning until close, and we close at eight. It just depends. Yeah, you're owner of a business. If somebody doesn't show up and you don't have anybody to replace them, then it's you. So I need to be able to stand on my feet, move, uh, keep my attitude correct. I've got customers that I'm greeting and taking pictures with and hanging out with all day long. So I have lengthy days and I need to have the strength and the energy to do that. And if I'm eating a bunch of garbage, a bunch of empty calories and too much cooked food, I now stuff I eat. Pretty much our, our, our menu is pretty transitional. So for those people that are trying to transition, it's a great, great menu. However, I do have great salads and that sort of thing. I can usually whip up some type of a raw dish for you if I have to. But uh, primarily, I believe in making your meals count and try to get as much uh, nutrition from your meals as you possibly can. So you feed yourselves and keep yourself strong and healthy. Can you explain the importance of enzymes in our food? Yeah, we need enzymes. Enzymes are just, um, it's, it's everything. Uh, one side, and, and I'm a Googler, so I'm not a, I'm not like, um, I'm not a doctor in this. Uh, it, I, I share a lifestyle more than anything and prepare food for people. But once I Googled, why are enzymes so important? I just thought, whoa. So when you're killing your food, every time you put heat to the food, you're killing the enzymes. We go through our enzymes that we have naturally, and it's important that we keep the life in our food because the enzymes help us to digest our food. They're just, they're just everything in terms of the human person. So you don't want to eat a lot of death. And when I say that, I'm talking about food that um, you've already destroyed the life and heat kills. So that's why when you come to Stuff I Eat, I put a live salad on every entree, with every entree. Just eat a little bit of life, if you will. And so that's why it's important to me. Now, now if you want a, a more uh, uh, in-depth answer to that question, Google, why are enzymes so important? Trust me, you'll find your answer. You talk about other components in your life. How important is movement? You talked a little about getting out there and moving your body, but how important is it? You talked about the core trainings too. How often are you moving your body? Um, because I am so active here at the restaurant, um, I have a, a great trainer that uh, believes in um, uh, developing your core strength. So when I train with him, I'm doing a lot of push-ups and sit-ups and burpees and uh, that sort of thing. Most of um, in any of the weight, it's usually my own weight. And it, it gets to the point where I'm so strong. I don't know if you saw a video that I posted once on Facebook, where I'm going upstairs backwards. Um, yeah, yeah, did yeah, did you see that? Um, it's because once you work your core, you develop that core strength, you, you are, are, are really in good shape. Now, I have some challenges with um, the overuse of my hands because I cook, and I, I'm, a, I'm one of those uh, overworkers. So I use my hands so much. So sometimes I'm challenged with um, symptoms from carpal tunnel, um, but I try to pretty much give my hands enough downtime so that I don't suffer too much with that. But it can cause a problem with my workouts sometimes with my hands going numb. But for the most part, I'm not into weights. I love uh, running. I'm still running heels, 
So if I'm not in the gym, I'm going to be outdoors running heels because it makes you just dig deep and you've got to, you've got to go for it if you're running those heels. Um, other And doing the stairs at Santa Monica, that's another place that I love to go. So I mix the workout. I mix the workout up. But like I said, I'm not a weight lifter. I don't want to look like a bodybuilder. I just want to be strong enough to keep it going so that I can still run those heels at 80 years old. And that's kind of the way that I handle myself uh, in terms of my workout. Love it. You know, we really didn't talk about like, so all these facets you're getting from the food you're eating and the movement and the lifestyle, what are, what, what else is it bringing to you? I mean, is it affecting you on a conscious level on, um, it is, I feel, I, I just feel, I feel, um, I feel honored. I feel blessed. Makes me want to cry almost, um, that I have, um, I have gained this knowledge and that, you know, some of the, some of the questions that people ask me, I had somebody ask me, what is a GMO? Is it good for you? And so for me to be from a little girl from the east side of LA, um, we didn't have lots of money at all. And for me to have this knowledge now and to be able to inspire others to be a protector of the planet and other beings on the planet, to just be able to give back and to say thank you to the universe for allowing me to be where I am today and to have the opportunity to have a voice and, and to be able to share. And um, it just makes me, it, it makes, I'm full. It makes me really, really happy because Everybody doesn't get that opportunity. And at 66 years old, I'm in the best, I'm in the best health I could possibly be in. And to have that as a part of this human journey and this experience is just, this is just worth everything. I'm sorry. I'm, no. I don't know where that went, where that came from, but anyway. No, because yeah. it is a blessing. It and really is. We are lucky to be enlightened because yes. this information is kept from us. So for yes. us to be seekers and finding the truth is yes. is an expedition. So what challenges are you faced with your quest to promote the loving your age message? Well, actually, Steve, I've, I'm not... I don't really feel like I'm faced with any challenges. I think the only person that could possibly get in my way with sharing this uh, is myself. And I'm not gonna get in my way. Um, Loving Your Age is an important project to myself and my daughter who um, she actually kind of came up with this whole thing, but I just fell in love with the idea because I have friends um, that I, I went to school with and they're challenged with uh, illnesses, you know, not feeling well, or, or people that are on dialysis and they've got three times a week, you're going to, to, for dialysis treatment or you're dealing with high blood pressure and, and um, all of these other things. And, and it's, it's, if you don't have that quality, if you don't enjoy the quality of life, it's just, life is rough. And so there are people 20 years old suffering with illnesses that are pretty much food induced. So from age, from a child all the way up, uh, you should be in a space where life is wonderful. At least you feel good. And that, that is huge because if you feel good, you can work everything else out that's a mess in your life. If you're sick and everything else is a mess, life is pretty, can be pretty miserable. So at least, at least love your age and take care of yourself. That's what's important. Find out what you're supposed to eat. Understand why you need greens in your life. Understand why you need to eat some raw. Understand and 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 believe it not just read it and then put the book down but try to get into it and understand that you are a part of a species that that you need certain things in your diet to 
to, to keep you going and to keep you strong and, and, it, it, and really create the knowledge for yourself so that at that point you become stronger, wiser, you begin to share. And this is how we heal our planet and this is how we heal ourselves because you're going to lose loved ones. You're going to lose loved ones, heart disease, all of that stuff. And it's not a happy time for us. It really is not. And people just, um, I, I don't know, just hating their existence because they don't feel good. And that's unfortunate. It's sad. It's really sad. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to get in my way of this project. Nothing is going to stop me. Nothing but death. And, and when that happens, then I'll just say so long. I, I did the thing. I did what I, I was supposed to do. Right, and pass the message on. Inspired pass the others. message on, exactly. So you've got a lot going on. What's on the radar now for Chef B as far as new and upcoming projects? Yay! Life is good for Miss B right now. Okay, so I just got myself a publicist, and I'm so excited about them. I have a, uh, I'm under management now. I love my management team. I love the publicist. Um, and uh, we're getting ready to going to do some TV. I, I, ultimately, I'm going to have my own show. Now, I want it to be a fun talk show. Who knows what it's going to turn out to be. I don't know. But as long as I'm there, I have a bigger voice and I can get the message out. And, and I just did a thing with um, Jane Belez Mitchell on Monday. She has this cooking show that she does. Uh, she goes live on Facebook. And she and she uh, um, uh, usually she'll get chefs from all over to come in and do a lunchtime um, uh, recipe uh, live. And we did it on Monday. And believe it or not, Steve, today we have almost fifty thousand views. It was so much fun. It was just, it was incredible. So I love it. I love being in front of the camera. And I used to be so shy. I was a mess. And um, now they told me, you can just be yourself. So being myself is just like the best self I can be. And so it works. So for those people that like Chef B, for being herself, they're going to love my show. And, and for those who don't, Watch Juice Guru. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I don't know. They all have a different but, flavor. I, yeah, I, so a bunch of stuff is is happening. I'm I'm going to be doing some public speaking. I get a chance to go to Houston uh, to uh, visit Dr. Baxter Montgomery with his operation there. He has an incredible wellness center there. He is a raw vegan cardiologist. So he has a restaurant right there at, 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 at his practice. Wow. And, um, so that's what Ms. B is going to be doing at age 66. She's starting her career at age 66. See, they can't tell you that you're too old for anything. <laughs> Can they? No, they it. try to tell you that, but you're not. Great You're thing, not. Ms. B. Great thing. So anything, anything to say in closing, how can our viewers follow your work? What's the best way to stay in touch? And any words of wisdom on living the most vital life, longevity, vitality, anything to say in closing? Well, first of all, you can, um, you can always come see me at my restaurant. I'm at 114 North Market Street in beautiful downtown Inglewood, California. It's called Stuff I Eat. And uh, you can also um, follow me, Chef Babette Davis on Facebook, uh, Chef Babette on Instagram, Chef Babette on Twitter. So uh, yeah, come on board, follow me. And in closing, I would like to say, life is such a fantastic gift. Um, this is such an incredible journey. It doesn't matter what your, what, what your spirit the, the body your spirit is packed in, just, just be good to you because then you're able to be good to others. And um, when, you're good to, when you're good to you, that means 100% good to you. Feed yourself everything that you need to feed yourself to stay at the top of your game. And the love starts with you. So love this whole journey and love everybody you meet. And um, Let's just be good to our planet home and all of our other, all of our other beings that, that reside here. I love you guys. 
Thank you. Love it. Miss Babette Davis right here. A great session. So inspiring. Thank you. I'm Steve Prusak and we'll see you in the next session.